investigator Robert Maxwell looks at what are being described as the new rules of engagement for police. I'm not aware of using a robotic uh, in, in this kind of, if you want to say, an offensive capacity to neutralize a suspect. Up until the Dallas attacks, remotely controlled robots have been used where human officers would be in danger to get close to a suspicious package. Security consultant Fred Burton says using the robot as a weapon is the next step in bringing military concepts into domestic policing. So it's a positive step, meaning uh, you look at the number of cops that this shooter had killed, along with the number that he had injured, to include civilians, these are tough calls. And in this tweet Friday from a warfare strategist at the New America Foundation, Peter Singer calls the device a mark bot that was used by troops in Iraq to flush out the enemy. Zip -fer, zip -fer. So could such a robot bomb be used in Austin? The city police chief didn't mince words Friday afternoon. I'm not going to talk about tactics. I can just tell you that in our city, nothing's off. Nothing would be off the table when it comes to ending a deadly threat to our police officers, our community. A veteran counterterrorism expert, Burton won't play armchair quarterback, but says they needed to stop the carnage. 